So we are going to configure an integration within SiteScope and OBM and vice versa, while both of the servers are using their own self-signed certificates. So it's going to be a certificate exchange on a certain level and, of course, full integration. So we start from the beginning, meaning that the SiteScope was just installed, SSL is configured on it, nothing else is done, but the agent is already installed without any configurations on the SiteScope uh, server itself, because, well, uh, this is your starting position, right? Uh, OBM is the same, installed from scratch, uh, with SSL out of the box, and none other configurations are done between those servers at the moment. And uh, we need to set up several things. One of them, of course, is the certificate exchange. Another one is the agent connectivity from SiteScope machine to OBM. And the, th the third thing is the configuration for, of OBM to SiteScope. So they would have some kind of an exchange possible between them two. And the uh, fourth thing is to have the single sign-on option between those two products. So we'll start with the single sign-on because uh, the init string that we're going to use is actually ex extracted from the item platform because uh, uh, it has the most strict uh, policy and uh, frankly, the IDM is more complex than just an init string from, that comes out of the box in those two products. So I prefer to get it from there and set up all other products with their simpler settings around them. So I have the single sign-on string copy it to a notepad on the side, and let's start with SiteScope. So when you log into a SiteScope, you go to Preferences. I believe it's under General Preferences. You go to LWSSO, and you just replace the init string. Click on Save. And also in Licenses, for now, we are going to set Trial Edition, because Trial Edition allows integrations to happen for uh, like 30 days or something. I don't remember correctly, but at least they are possible. Another option is to deploy the production license, but we're not at that stage yet, and it's completely fine. So that's the part of SiteScope. Now we need to go and uh, to our OBM. So, so we'll go to administration. And now we go to users, and under users, there would be authentication management. Now, in authentication management, we edit the single sign on, and we say, well, lightweight, and we are going to set the token to what we copied earlier, and we click on save. That's it. It's now configured and it's matching the one that we have on SiteScope. So now we'll go and do the agent part on SiteScope part. So first of all, SiteScope cannot really integrate with OBM if its user session, its, its admin user doesn't require passwords. And out of the box, the admin user does not require a password to log in. So what we need to do is to go to SiteScope administrator, edit it, and say its login name is going to be admin and password is going to be like this. Click OK and they are not matching. So let's give it another try. And they're not matching again. Completely fine. Click on OK, and now we need to log out. And log back in. Uh, 
we'll go to preferences and here in preferences there are going to be the integration preferences click on new and now we'll go to operations manager integration and uh, resolve path seems pretty normal operations manager url is going to be obm.exclusive.com without typos no? okay and we say connect now it's running the opc activate it takes it just it says that it takes several minutes but it's not taking that long it's a little bit shorter and let's see the result script starting not disabling remote trace accent Agent executing command over core ID. Okay, so it, it's done its job. Now we'll go to operation to our OBM basically once we find it somewhere. Yeah, let's move it a little bit to the side. We'll go to administration, certificate requests, and okay, and we need to do it in another browser. So we are another explorer we go to certificate requests in another browser and we need to approve the certificate from our site scope go for it granted okay cool so we go to our site scope we're going back to our wizard over here and we say enable sending events connect directly to apm prefer events over metrics and apm service health we uncheck that one enable exporting time templates to operations manager uh, this one doesn't do too much, but still, let's keep it as it is. Install policies. Now it will deploy its own set of policies to the co agent, and we'll see that executing command, starting for an operation, completed successfully. Always check this log. You need to see that they are successful. Now, those are the policies that it deploys. And it's very important to let Sitescope connect via OPC Activate to OBM and deploy those policies from here, not from any place else. Now we'll test a send mes test message. So it's going to be test one. And let's see if there is a bug in policies that we need to solve. So that's a send test message. It's a little bit different from send test event. So we'll go to event perspective. I don't know what it did, what it does, but yeah, we, we go to event perspective over here, and let's see what uh, what we got. We have a typo. Just see a search. The default password and we say yes fantastic so unfortunately unlike site scope the obm requires a full restart in order for this to take effect so we're gonna do just that but we're not going to make you wait for it but basically the command is opt slash hp slash bsm slash scripts run hbbsm restart and let's go with it so it would restart itself and in about five to ten minutes i should be able to continue the integration process so let's keep to that part okay everything was rebooted events are not still, still not arriving but that doesn't matter that's my personal problem not the product out of the box now we are going to connect servers and we are going to set up ourselves a nice side scope over here. And it's going to be called side scope. Always keep an original name. And it's going to be side scope.exclusive.com. Username admin, password. 
I hope that's the right password. The port is going to be 443, not 8443. OBM credentials for the site scope to use. Same thing. Okay, now we run test. The test should be, yes. Okay, it's fine. We click on create. So in the meanwhile, in the site scope section, while it's creating everything, see there is a registration in progress. So let's see how it goes. We'll refresh and it says succeeded. And here we click away, we click once more and MPM integration to OBM exclusive 443 is done. So the only thing that I need to do is verify the, is to verify the policies uh, from site scope to APM, probably to OBM, sorry, probably maybe I can do something among those lines. OV policy remove all. No, it's remove all like this. So here we have a situation. We installed site scope, we connected it to OBM, and test events and test messages are not being sent. And upon an investigation, we find that, well, it cannot get not certificate ID from policy header. And uh, basically the policies that SiteScope installs on top of the agent from SiteScope, not from OBM, from its own repositories, are not signed. And when we try to sign the policies via command line, by using sign policy dot bat slash uh, dash windows and then we specify the policy it says no opr policy activation in java library path so we are going to attempt and reinstall the uh, policy signing tool and the way to do it basically we go to disk c site scope installation components and then it's OA, OA policy signing tool Windows 64, I believe. And we will just go and install it. Click on next, accept, next, next, and install. And that might actually solve our problem. So there we go. Let's try the same command once more. And it is done. So we are going to attempt and uh, sign the other policy. Let's look at the policies over here. So the next policy header is this one, right? So we will just uh, go, sorry, let's go back to our policies. We'll go to our command line. And actually, we'll just paste the name. Uh, XML, that's policy number two. Then we have, okay, that's unfortunate. We have the third policy, that's the header. Copy it, go to command line. Right, clicky dot XML. Okay, the policies are signed. And now it's time to go to and actually delete the policies. So OV policy minus list. Let's see if we have them. No, no policies are installed. So we can go and install the policies from SiteScope GUI. Let's do just that. Log into SiteScope. Okay, page unavailable, yeah, 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 yeah. Just need to remove that. Log in. Go for it. Come on. Okay, here we have to go to preferences, integration preferences, open these, and we will go and install the policies. We'll give it, we'll let it run for a second. Okay, and there we go, it is done. Now we need to see if it works. So test one, send test message. Let's see if we got anything. Test one, congratulations. Okay, so this is done. 
and send test event. It should take also a couple of seconds. Running test. Uh, congratulations if you see this message. So the site scope is fully integrated and we have a solution to a very interesting problem. So that concludes the integration of site scope and OBM.